Hello and welcome to my SEC tutorial. I'm Antonov2 and now I'll be showing you how to install mods on World of Tanks. So this is pretty easy. What you do is you open your internet and type in World of Tanks mods and you just select the first website that is recommended to you which is World of Tanks WOT mods by curse. So you click there and then you're directed to this website. So um, on the edge you've got a whole pile of adverts that don't really interest us and then in the middle you've got a list of mods which are sorted according to their popularity so you've got the most frequently downloaded mods at the top and the least popular mods at the bottom so I'll be showing you how to download the Crosshair mod which is the most popular mod and all the other mods are installed slightly differently but it's pretty similar still and you'll be able to install the others once you've understood how to install the first one so you click onto the name of a mod and if you scroll down now down here the website tells you how to install the mod but I don't think this is very easy to understand so I'll be showing you how to install it all the way what you have to do is you click onto download now and it says the download will begin in 3, 2, 1 seconds and down here it's being downloaded so you just have to wait a wee while it doesn't take very long though and it's a win winzip file so you have to unzip it and when you've unzipped it you get three different files and you just want this 0 0.8.3 file so what you do now is you open your explorer and go to your hard drive and open your folder with world of tanks in it and now you open the folder res mods and now you open the folder of the latest update which at the moment is 8.3 then you open the 0 0.8.3 folder in WinZip and drag the GUI file into the 0 0.8.3 folder on your World of Tanks file and you let go of it and there it is so now you've installed your first mod uh, a thing you have to remember though is that after every new update you have to install the mod again or all you really have to do is drag the mod into so drag the GUI file into the latest update folder yeah so I hope I could help you and thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.